So I said the word earlier, comunidad, and for others, it could be a different word. And community for me was the key to thriving. And I think it de definitely stems from, um, so there's a lot of cultural values I hold on to. Um, it's familialismo, so family, personalismo, that's kind of that energy of connection. I oftentimes engage uh, a lot with my clients and my students in that just getting to know them and before I even start into the, the therapeutic approach. Um, but coming from those cultural values, uh, respeto, respect, respecting my elders, coming in to listen, to learn. I remember being that early psychologist and I wanted to absorb everything I was learning, but I was really mindful of respecting the, the group, the setting, my elders in that space. And so that stems from my upbringing. Um, I feel like family was always the root of where I came from. And that's where I took everything in my role. So when I was going through grad school, how do I seek family, an academic family, an academic familia? How do I connect? And so when I got my first job, I was looking around and as I was the only um, Latina identified or Latino identified psychologist at the time. And I remember trying to navigate the campus and trying to kind of locate folks that you know may have came from similar backgrounds. So we just kind of connect over food. And so there's kind of the connection over just kind of breaking bread together um, and meeting folks on campus, whether it be faculty, um, their professors or staff um, and, and just creating that moment together. But what I was doing was also creating pipelines. When I think of mental health and students of color, pipelines are very imperative to understanding how mental health is, what it is, what it is not, that we have to look at it from multiple dimensions and access to mental health services doesn't look the same for everybody. And so as a Latina, like when I was going through college, I didn't, I was not aware of a counseling center. And I went to a very large university, it's Arizona State University, it's very large. And so someone that, like myself, who was very introverted and shy at the time, it was hard to know where to go. And so as a Latina and finding other folks that had similar journeys, I felt seen. And then it helped me also navigate what it meant to be a psychologist and a Latina psychologist and a woman of color. And that being visible is key. So being behind my closed doors and doing therapy isn't where it needs to be at all times. I need to be out there. I need to be kind of attending different club and organizational events, things like that. So it's seeing who I am, what I represent, and how it creates a safe pipeline for students to come into the center. And so I think I carry with me all those cultural values and that's what I look for in a place of employment, like where can I create family wherever I go? And so those are strong values for me.